Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So my name is Adam and in this video uh, we're going to be talking on how you can change the background of any uh, video. Because I've seen a lot of people on the internet asking on how they can change the background of any video and I decided to make this video explaining how you can do that with DaVinci Resolve 15. So we're going to go about this uh, in two ways. The first one is if the background has a solid color like this and the second way if the background has a lot of multiple colors and you cannot key the background. So let's jump right on the computer and see how you can do that. Okay, so let's start with the first scenario on how to change a background uh, with multiple colors. So I'm going to take this footage right here of me and put it on a timeline. And if you notice here, we have a, uh, a solid color on the background, on the wall. So you may tell me, oh no, this is just a solid color. There is no multiple colors in the background whatsoever. But in this shot, for example, we cannot go ahead and use the delta key or, or the chroma key or however you want to call it because the color on the wall is the same as the color on my face. So it's not going to be possible. Uh, let's try actually and see what's going to happen if we try to pick the color in the background with the delta key. Here. Okay, so with my media in selected, I'm just going to head to control space and then you can search for delta, delta here. I already have it here. So I'm going to click add. And if I go to background and click on pick screen color, then OK. Then look at this. It, did select the wall indeed, but it selected my face as well. Um, I can go ahead and adjust these on the inspector however I want. It's not going to work because as I said, uh, because the wall, the, the, the color on the wall is the same as the color on my face. Therefore, it's not going to be possible to key just the wall. And the same uh, method applies to any other background. It's the same thing. Now, in this case, what you should do is actually track the objects that you want to crop frame by frame. And it's going to take a lot of work. So just to show you how, I'm going to delete this delta here. Go to the color tab. And then I'm going to click on window. Just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to choose the pencil and I'm going to crop over my subject. Okay, so here we go. And then I'm going to come here, right click on the node graph. And then I'm going to click on add alpha output, okay? And then just link this to the alpha outputs. But first, let me go to the edit tab to check if I have the background selected. Okay, so before doing, uh, doing that, before linking the node to the alpha output, I'm just going to grab this, the background I want to use. Just gonna put it under my uh, my footage. Here we go. I go back to the color tab. Open the nodes, and then grab this and link it to the uh, alpha output. Go to edit. And here you see, so now the background is changed, yes. But then if I click on play, you 
you will see that the selection is not perfect and I have to track the selection. So we just go back to the edit, I'm sorry, to the fusion tab or the color tab, I'm sorry, I just got confused. All right. And then we have to track it in the tracker panel frame by frame. So we won't choose clip, we're gonna choose frame. And I'm gonna put this here up in the beginning and click play, hold on. I'm just gonna zoom in like this. Then click play. Then stop here for example, whenever I see that the subject is going out of the selection, I have to adjust my uh, selection. So as I said, it's gonna take a lot of work, but if you are willing to do it, just go ahead and do it. So it, it, takes a lot, it takes a lot of work and precision to do it. So unless you are getting paid like really, really a lot of money, then, then yes. Beside that, I don't see any reason why you should do it this way. Then again, stop here, track this here, and move again. So I guess, I'm guessing that you got the idea, you have to continue doing this. And of course, um, it's not gonna be easy. So just showing you an example here, so just let it track this for a moment. So as you can see, you have to stop each time to track the subject. So I'm guessing that you get the idea on how uh, that should be done. But so the easier way, of course, it's going to be the Delta key here. And for, in order for the Delta key here to work, you just must have a unique or a solid color in the background, okay? Plus, the subject should not contain the same color as the one already in the background. So if I remove this, for example, I'm going, I'm going to delete all of this. So for this shot, for example, I, I did put a red t-shirt on my head just to show you the difference. Ripple delete, here we go. So now if I go to the Fusion tab with this clip, gonna cut it here because I have to hide my arms from the wall because my arms are white as well so it's the same color as the wall okay go back to fusion okay so now if I go ahead and add the delta key here, you will see the difference. I'll pick color and then pick screen color, choose this color, okay. Now you can see that my face was not selected at all. So that was just to show you that instead of doing this lot of work and tracking the subjects frame by frame, it's better to make sure you change the color of your background. Just make sure that the background is a solid, unique color and make sure that the subject is not, make sure that your subject does not contain uh, the same color as the one uh, in the background. So now, of course, I can just go ahead and continue 
with this, it's going to work exactly the same thing as the green screen. So you can adjust stuff here, for example. Whoops, I think I went too far here. You can adjust stuff here in the reference. Of course, there is a video. I'm going to put the link down if you want to see how to change a green screen color. Here we go. Then I'm going to add a... Uh, I'm going to add my, hold on, yeah, I'm going to add my background in here. Here we go. Then I'm going to add a merge node in here. Whoops. Then I'm going to link my media into the merge node just switch that here we go so i'm going to rotate this here we go so now you can see the difference okay now you can see the difference between using the delta key here and the difference between i'm sorry about that so as I said, now you can see the difference between using the Delta key or the difference between using the tracker panel and tracking each, tracking the subject frame by frame. So this one is much easier. Just instead of, working, of putting much effort into editing, just go ahead and change the color of your background and then it's going to be easier for you to edit uh, your shots or your subject. So, so if I go back to, um, to the edit tab, here we go. So as you can see here, the, the selection is much, much cleaner than earlier. So I hope that was helpful. If you find this helpful, please like, share the video and give me a thumbs up. I'm going to put a link or a card uh, for my green screen video in case you want to learn how to, uh, how to do green screens. So that was pretty much it. And uh, thank you for watching this video.